During the early to mid 90s, I had the wonderful opportunity to go to the annual Sufi gathering, the Med Levy Sufis, that they held at Burke Mountain in Vermont. And at the gatherings, everybody was assigned tasks to do. We were a community, and some of us had to clean houses and the bathrooms, <laughs> and some of us worked in the kitchen. And one time I was working in the kitchen. The thing that struck me was the chef that year had one very important rule. If you come into her kitchen and you have a conflict with somebody, go work it out first. Don't bring conflict into the kitchen. If you're in her kitchen and you're really upset or sad, then find a teacher or find somebody, work on that. Don't bring discord into her kitchen. Her workplace was sacred, and she wanted it to be a lot like what Isaiah was describing, the peaceable kingdom. And she believed that the manner in which food was prepared had a direct outcome in the way that it was tasted once it was delivered to the community. So what's your sacred space? Kitchen was hers. You know, we, we heard the heart of the Protestant work ethic today. St. Paul commending work to everyone. He was doing that because there were yahoos there in Thessalonica that said, oh, Jesus is coming back. I'm just going to sit down and take it easy. Let everybody else take care of it. Kind of like uh, some people today with the climate. Oh, we don't need to worry about that. Jesus is coming back. He's going to fix it. When we saw what happened in the Philippines can have devastating effects if we don't do the work of stewardship on this planet. So Paul's commending work. Is work your sacred space? It doesn't matter if you're actively in a job or retired. We all have work and things to do. What quality do you bring to that moment? that time. Yeah, but I crunch numbers. Yeah, but maybe I rake leaves and I'm a landscaper. Yeah, but all these mundane things. The point Isaiah is making is that God speaks and says, I'm creating a new heaven and a new earth. You know when that's going to happen? When do you think that's going to happen? That's what everybody's worried about in the gospel. When's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And they're looking for it out there, and they don't see that it happens right now, in this moment, in this breath. Because it's not going to be magic. It's not going to be God going, Abracadabra, new earth, new heaven. There you go, see? Instead, each and every one of us are co-creators with the Almighty, with the Beloved. Each and every one of us has a role to play in shaping and forming this planet. Whether it will turn out to be the peaceful kingdom or through war and, con and conflict turns out to be an uninhabitable wasteland. Where is your sacred space? What quality will you carry into the task that you do this week? These are the things, the questions that are presented to us from the lessons this morning. Oh, and the food. It was pretty good. <laughs>